Uh, hello, so today I'm gonna be showing you another tutorial. It's like a galo scale kind of tutorial with um like a head tracking crosshair. So uh, I chose to use the song Maradona. A lot of people used to use it. And again, I'm just gonna find the first big beat job. So. This is a robbery! Everybody yeah. get in a fucking room! Yeah. I'll be bullet! Alright, here. Alright, so... I'm gonna put this again at like... 4 second mark. Trim this all the way to the beat job. Put your crosshair around 4 seconds. And you guys don't have to do this. If you're doing an actual video, you just... Put the first beat drop probably around like 10 seconds. Yeah. I'm just doing a tutorial though. Yeah. So, gonna do like a one second fade in. Yeah. Alright. So, this is just one of my random clips. I'm gonna cut the song back here too. Yeah. Or put the volume down to like 7. Yeah. And then clip equalizer. Put this up to around two. Put the sound That's good. Okay, so then save. Dragging my. Uh, this is the clip, I believe. No, nope, that's not that. Here we go. I don't know what that clip was. Okay, so. Find the spot where the kill is, right here. Control B is cut. Cut right on the kill. Drag this. Whoops. Drag this over. We want to go down, and uh, we can bring this up to audio too. Let me just drag this part over. So now we have it all synced up here. The audio isn't exactly synced, so I think you can uh, unmagnetize that can get in your way a lot. It's quite annoying. I'm gonna just drag this over to when the audio is like right around here. Okay, so the syncing in this isn't gonna matter as much. You want to make sure these are unlinked. You're gonna want to go into read time controls, and right when you see the shield crack here, you're gonna want to make a speed point. You're gonna want to go left till like around your characters pulling out their their shotgun, so like right here, I'd say. And then you kind of want to speed ramp it, so I'm just gonna go like two to the left again, so like that. And then you want to go from here. You want to go over like probably around right here. And you want that uh, speed boost. So I'm going to change this to 200%. And I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to, like always, go back around till the numbers split. And uh, optical flow, obviously. And you're gonna want to change this one to 50. And this is the tricky part. You're gonna want to change this one to 50 as well. And this one is gonna go to 25. And so that's gonna like completely mess up your time scale. But we're gonna want to drag this all the way back. We're gonna want to make sure this ends there. So you just want to make sure that your 200% section isn't too long and you want to make sure the end of it is right on the shield crack so like here and this is the tricky part you just kind of have to tweak it around a little bit that should be perfect actually uh so now it should look like this and obviously the audio is in sync but you want that 
it's very important so what you're gonna want to do is cut right on your first section of slow-mo here control B and then you're gonna want to go right on the damage so like right here and then hold alt on your clip and uh, left click and you just want to drag it up like that and you put your magnet on oh, whoopsies I'm gonna get rid of this as well All right. so now we just sync these two up so now we have like uh, an overlay basically <laughs> So now we have this top section. In this top section, we're gonna wanna go into the color tab here. And you're gonna wanna go into like this little circle thingy. This is your mask section. You wanna drag uh, a circle up there. So now you have your circle, you just click on it. And you want it to be like a, an oval kinda. You want it to fit your character. So you want, I'd say like around that size looks good. And you want to just put in like the middle of the back. And then you drag these red lines out. This is like the, the feather. So it'll make it look um, well blended. And so you want to key from your corrector one. And you just want to move this. And so basically you're setting a keyframe for every single frame that happens. So you can just use your arrows and go along the, the timeline of this clip and keep dragging the, um, the circle along. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to want to right click up in this section. You're going to want to hit add alpha output. You drag this little blue box to this little output. And so now you have an overlay. And nothing shows up yet, but you're going to want to drag this clip out. You're going to want to go here. Right here, you're going to want to key from the opacity at 100. And you're going to want to go around 10 frames to the right. So, I don't think that was 10. Close enough though. You're going to want to bring it down to around 35 and then you drag this back over and then you go on this clip right where your keyframe is on the 35 and you drag this little fade in. So now we have this. So as you can see there's like a glow around your character and we are going to be using sapphire plugins but you want to drag an S underscore glow right here and to get sapphire plugins you can just search up like how to get sapphire plugins on windows for davinci resolve 16 there's a lot of videos about it now you want to drag in uh, s underscore glow and you're going to want to on the first you're going to want to um, make this to this green color right here that little you hit ok and so now you can see it's like green but you want to make your threshold all the way down First frame, you want to put the brightness at zero, and then right when this keyframe again on the 35 opacity keyframe for the bottom layer, you're gonna want to go to the glow, and you're gonna want to put your brightness at around one thousand, I'd say, or whatever you think looks good. But I'm gonna keep it at around a thousand, actually. I'm gonna go up a little bit and I'm gonna put the threshold down. I think that looks good personally. 
So as you can see, there's like the glow around your character. No, that that's the first step. You're gonna want to save again, and I'll have a link for this download in the description. But it's uh, basically like a rotating crosshair. So you're gonna want to delete the audio. I don't know why they have audio on it. But here, you're gonna want to click on this in the inspector tab of your crosshair. You're gonna want to hit composite mode, add. You're gonna want to zoom out all the way. You want to go retime controls, change speed 200. So now, now it's like really quick spinning. I'll show you. That's what it looks like. So like around this end part or just in the middle section, you want to just cut it. And you're going to drag this over. I can bring it down one slot in my video. Right here. Okay. And then right here, I'm just going to cut it. So now it's only in this uh, fade part. Here, we're going to want to make the zoom down to around 150, I'd say. Actually, 150 looks good. 140 for me. Um, and you're going to want to do that exact same fade in. Try to copy the fade in from below. So this one was 0.8. This one, did the same thing. So now it fades in. And you're going to want to go... This is the tricky part. You're gonna want to go to the second keyframe where you can like barely see it right here. You can kind of see it. Um, you're gonna want to go to the second keyframe or yeah, second keyframe right here. You're gonna want to keyframe the position. You're gonna want to tweak it around. You can see it moving as I move the X values, and you just want to track it to their head. So right there, you can see it's kind of on their head. I'm gonna go over to right here. I'm just gonna keyframe again. Move it around till I think it's tracked on their head. And wherever there's like a big movement in the clip you're using, you're gonna wanna just keyframe it again and track it onto their head. The more keyframes you do, the more uh, precise it's gonna look. So right here. The head of the character, I can kind of tell, drops down here because I hit a headshot with the um, Dragon's Breath. So I'm going to move the Y down a tad bit. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to want to save. And now. And let this load. Alright, so now it should look like this. And the last thing we have to do is sync up our audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my video section up. We don't need it as much. Move this up a little bit too. We just need these two audio layers. So right here is where the kill is. Right here. And we want this beach up there. So first off, we're going to move, move it there. And then we're going to mute this audio section. And we want to see when the um, dragon breath sound happens it's like right around here i think it starts there so i'm going to mark this i'm going to drag this all the way over but you can see these ar shots aren't synced up so i'm just going to go to the first frame right here mark Mark that on the video so we know when the first AR shot happens. These are the AR shots. We're gonna cut for the little click of the dragon's breath. So right here. And we're just gonna drag this back and sync this up. We can fade our audio out. And then on this bottom one, the Maradona song. We go here. We can add a uh, audio transition we want crossfade negative three and this basically uh changes like uh it morphs the two songs together and in this little section you're going to want to put the two value all the way down on the clip equalizer and the three down a little bit so now when i unmute this it'll sound something like this can tell that this isn't perfectly synced here so I 
actually. I think that's good. So, that's going to be about it. And to finish it off, I'm just going to, like, trim off the ends here. So, control B. Cut the salt down. And, uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. Yeah.